Elora Dannon has chosen you to be her guardian. Me? Yes. She likes you. The baby is at the heart of this long ago fantasy, a baby princess who must be saved from death. And this is Willow, her protector, a little person challenged into greatness. The story is in a way the simple story of good and evil, except it's not at all so simple. Executive producer George Lucas has supervised a dazzlement of special effects and supervised director Ron Howard, who brings much feeling and heart to the movie. There are drawbacks. Two nine-inch people meant as comic relief are not relieving and not comic. And the movie sags for 10 minutes or so near its middle. But the sagging and the lack of comedy are minor points compared to this major one. Willow is hugely entertaining. Great fun. Uh, yeah, it is about 10 flabby minutes too long, but its main flaw is that the screenplay features a terrible sense of humor, which is worse than no sense of humor at all. But look, how bad can all that be when it's a final number eight to this not at all frail Willow? And please, if I want to mention one person, Warwick Davis as Willow gives a beautifully endearing performance. I myself am Dennis Cunningham for CBS News.